Kubaka is a title that I hold. Kubaka is an ancient name. There's a place along the Hapai River. Most of y'all know it as the Nile. Ancient Kui is the land of the esteemed ancestors. So one day, when I lay down after doing this work here on Earth, I hope to be with the esteemed ancestors and somebody one day will call my name if and I do the work right. In ancient traditions from long ago, when Septepi, when being came into being, before we give information, we ask the ancestors to speak. So I've been given a nod by the elder because the ancestors come through him and her. So we call the spirits of the ancestors. We say Ashe, which is a word that means so be it. And it is. The notion that we're on the steps of the state of capital, California, the capital of the fifth largest economy on the planet, and we're here talking about reparations. In my humble opinion, we haven't done a strong enough case to honor the ancestors to be able to even say the word reparations. What are you asking reparations for? Who was egregiously harmed? So we call the spirit. Before there was slavery, there were African people. We call the spirits. We call the spirits. And we bring it into modern times. When papal edict in 1442, Nicholas, Nicholas V, sent military conquest, Spain and Portugal, down into Kikongo, Africa, to capture prisoners of war and bring them to the Western Hemisphere in the bottom of a slave ship, chained and in shackled for a lifetime of utility, free labor, stripped from your name, stripped from your language, stripped from your culture. We call on the spirits of the ancestors that didn't make it. There is a line through the ocean bottom of bodies that were eaten by sharks. I say. So my ancestors, Alabama, the last slave ship was the Clotilde on the Tongue-Bigby River at the Spanish port of Mobile Bay. You go past, up the Tongue-Bigby, you pass Black Royal River, you pass the other river, you get to Choctaw County. Push Mataha was the headquarters for the Choctaw, one of the so-called civilized tribes, because they own slaves. And we had to hunt them down with this horn, Buffalo soldiers, after the Civil War, because they wouldn't give up. We call on the spirits of all those that had to endure that pain. Here in the land of Khalifa, the land of Khalifa, the state of California is named after an African indigenous woman slinging bows and arrow at Hernan Cortez in 1535 down in a place called La Paz. And then up there is La Venta and Morgue. La Venta is on the other side. Morgue is on this side. 
Every 30 miles is a military camp called a Presidio. Next to that is a mission. Every 30 miles from the tip of Baja California Sur to Baja California Norte, which is where we are in Northern California. Enslavement of people of African descent for 400 years plus, and another year of 100 years of infliction. Let me carry on, get to Negro Bar. <laughs> Take your time, brother. 1821. New Spain. The land they were standing on for since 1535 was. Let me take a sip. Mm -hmm. The enslavement of people of African descent here in California on the lands that we call. Baja California, sir, Baja California, Noor. I haven't read all 500 pages of the document reparations. It's not in there, I don't see it. I haven't read it all. 1821, Vicente Guerrero, a man with a big old Afro, was the general that made this Mexico in 1821. Second president of Mexico. First thing he did when he get in office is in slavery in Mexico which just happens to be where we're standing on, in California. Now, I haven't mentioned the Native American because y'all don't talk about that when we talk about reparations. But the land that we're standing on is Miwok and Nisanan for 10,000 years. And some of them look like us because they were dark-skinned and cousins, and they got trapped in that negro since this was Mexico. You fast forward to 1844 and the brother talked about 30,000 acres. That was good. That's good. That's a good start. But when we start looking at right over there is the library. Over there is the archives. You start looking at primary source documentation. I said it before. The whole state was named after an African woman. And the land was Native American people. And they were mixed with people of African descent. William Alexander Leidesdorf Jr., the African founding father of California. Kelly's boss. At that time, he worked in this building. Assembly Concurrent Resolution 131, the African founding father of California. He had 35,521 acres. That was just his ranch. He built the port of San Francisco. He built the first public school in California. He built the port of San Francisco. The richest city in America today. If you do the math, if you look at the source documentation, if you look at it, he was the elected treasurer. He wasn't a slave. He built the first public school in California and that school talk about him. So if you want to talk about reparative justice, you got to get to the primary source documentation. Yes, sir. On his land, today, this whole week. The misguided, miseducated people, the California Parks Commission is going to decide whether or not there's any efficacy for people of African descent in the gold rush era, 1840-1875. It took 15 years to move the word nigger off of their graves. Unknown move from Nigger Hill Cemetery by the US government. And this is a whole town. Negro Hill, Negro Bar, Negro Village. Fair, brother. 1846, the bare flag revolt. That second flag that's flying. It was black men with the, the top flag that's flying. Right here in Elk Grove at Cosumnes River. And I'm over time, so I'm gonna wrap it up. We won't even talk about the black men 
with the American flag help make this California. We won't even mention that 10% of the colored troops that fought, bled, and died to preserve the union that we call the United States of America were black men from California. 1,918. We're going to read all their names next week at Juneteenth. All their names. Over 10% of the colored troops that went plantation to plantation say, wake up, baby, you free. Leave. Where we going to go? What we going to do? Some Negroes ain't going to leave. Some Negroes ain't going to go. Some Negroes going to fight on behalf of the Confederate to stay a slave. And they're still doing it today. Woo! So this week, this special week on the way to Juneteenth, we helped make it a holiday. That's I was right. a regional director. As you could tell, some bad things are gonna have to be if I cuss out my elders. But some of them are stupid as hell. If you're gonna stand up in front of me and talk about fighting for the Confederate in front of me, I'm a veteran. I might get triggered and pop a cap in your ass. <laughs> So this week, I'm going to ask my mama nicely, mama pretty please will you come with me because I might be on good behavior. My mama was there from Alabama. But the notion that you're going to negate the historical legacy of people of African descent in California on my watch, 50 years, in the trenches, on the front lines of the battlefield. Now I'm a general, I'll call coordinates. I'll call the secretary of the army from San Diego. Blast these some bitches off, off the face of the earth. One more again, send general orders to blast them to hell. Dishonoring the whips, the rapes, the <laughs> the most demonic thing on the planet that happened to people of African descent. You're not gonna ask me to forget or forgive. So as I came here, I'm gonna ask the ancestors to forgive me if I didn't say enough, if I said the wrong thing in a way that was inappropriate. Y'all know the intent of my heart, but there is a level of humanity for the entire United States of America on front page of world news. Why you call them niggers? And now you're not even gonna give them a holiday? It's a federal holiday. But what, what is Juneteenth? Well, it was whatever you want to make it to be. On the way to reparations, stop and take a look at Juneteenth. All uh, right, so what was his name? Michael Harris. Michael Harris. Okay, thank you, Michael Harris. That was a very impassioned speech. I'm going to put that. you on YouTube, okay? <laughs> all right, Appreciate power you, to the people. Next, we are going to... Don't worry about stuff. It's fine. That's all right. It's windy out here. Okay, everyone. Uh, so that was a bit of that a... Is uh, this reparations it um, hot convention. Yesterday. It was hot the day before, and it's not... All right, so I hope you learned something. Bye-bye. For the cooling 